Lucas, Luke 1. For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us, even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write unto you in order, most excellent Theophilus, that you might know the certainty of those things, wherein you have been instructed. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Yahud, a certain priest named Zechariahu, of the course of Aviyahu, and his woman was of the daughters of Aharan, and her name was Elishiva. And they were both righteous before Yah, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of Yahuwah, blameless. And they had no child, because that Elishiva was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he was, rather, while he executed the priest's office before Yahuwah in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of Yahuwah. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of Yahuwah, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zechariah, for your prayer is heard, and your woman, Elishiva, shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name Yahuchanan. And you shall have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of Yahuwah, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Ruach HaKadosh, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Yahshadael shall he turn to El Yahuwah Elohehem. And he shall go before him in the Ruach and power of Eliyahu, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for Yahweh. And Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my woman well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gavriel, that stand in the presence of Yahuwah, and am sent to speak unto you, and to show you this good news. And behold, you shall be dumb, and not able to speak, until the day that these things shall be performed, because you believed not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zechariah, and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them, and remained speechless. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days his woman Elishiva conceived, and hid herself five months, saying, Thus has Yah dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me, to take away my reproach among men. And in the sixth month the angel Gavriel was sent from Yahuwah unto a city of Galil named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Yosef, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Miriam. 
And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, you that are highly favored. Yah is with you. Blessed are you, Eth, among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Miriam, for you have found favor with Yah. And behold, you shall conceive in your womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Yahusha. He shall be great, and shall be called the son of El Elyan. And Yahuwah Elohim shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Yaakov forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Miriam unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I am not a man? Rather, seeing I know not a man. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Ruach HaKadosh shall come upon you, and the power of El Elyan shall overshadow you. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of you shall be called the son of Elohim. And behold, your cousin Elishiva, she has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with Yah, nothing shall be impossible. And Miriam said, Behold, the handmaid of Yahuwah, be it unto me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. And Miriam arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Yahudah and entered into the house of Zechar Yahu and saluted Elishiva. And it came to pass that when Elishiva heard the salutation of Miriam, the babe leaped in her womb and Elishiva was filled with the Ruach HaKadosh. And she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you, Eth, among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Adonai should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of your salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from Yahweh. And Miriam said, My soul magnifies at Yahuwah, and my Ruach has rejoiced in Yah, my Savior. For he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty has done to me great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He has showed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He has helped his servant Yahshadael in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Avraham, and to his seed forever. And Miriam abode with her about three months and returned to her own house. Now Elishiva's full time came, that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son. And her neighbors and her cousins heard how Yahuwah had showed great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her. And it came to pass that on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they called him Zachariahu, after the name of his father. And his mother answered and said, not so, 
but he shall be called Yahuchanan. And they said unto her, There is none of your kindred that is called by this name. And they made signs to his father how he would have him called. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, His name is Yahuchanan. And they marveled all. And his mouth was opened immediately, and his tongue loosed, and he spoke and praised Yah. And fear came on all that dwelt round about them, and all these sayings were noised abroad throughout all the hill country of Yahud. And all they that heard them laid up, rather them up in their hearts, saying, What manner of child shall this be? And the hand of Yahuwah was with him. And his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Ruach HaKadosh and prophesied, saying, Blessed be Yahuwah Elohim of Yahshua'el, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of Yeshua for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, which had have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant the oath which he swore to our father Abraham that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of El Elyon, for you shall go before the face of Yahuwah to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of Yahshua unto his people by the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our Yahuwah, whereby the day spring from on high has visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and waxed strong in the Ruach and was in the deserts till the day of his showing unto Yah Shaddai.